Lap Chi Choi was born in Shanghai, China, and grew up in a small town near Hong Kong. The year I, I came to Canada, I still remember that was the coldest day in my life, <laughs> minus uh, 35 uh, uh, Celsius uh, centigrade crossing the, uh, the Windsor Bridge. And I arrived as a, a in Toronto as a postdoctoral fellow. So I work in uh, Manuel Bookwall's lab uh, together with Jack Reardon uh, to work on cystic fibrosis. He was a leader in cystic fibrosis research, responsible for some of the early efforts to nail this down to a specific chromosome. So it was the first time that we were able to isolate or identify a disease gene using this uh, particular genetic approach. I knew that his lab in Toronto was chasing after the actual gene and my lab at Ann Arbor, Michigan was doing the same. We ran into each other at a scientific meeting and then he was using this technology known as a chromosome jumping at that time. As we talked, it was clear the strategy that he was taking had particular strengths and the strategy we were taking had complementary strengths. Turn out the Francis uh, also were using cystic fibrosis as the, uh, the disease to demonstrate his uh, jumping technology. So we explore and we work on this thing together. Shortly after that began many trips up and down the road between Ann Arbor and Toronto, uh, meeting sometimes in seedy hotels halfway in between uh, with our lab groups to share progress having phone calls. Fax machines were just introduced then, so sometimes we fax data back and forth, and we talk on the phone. Along the way, Jack Reardon joined us and brought his expertise, and particularly in biology of sweat glands, which happened to be really important for this disease. And then that enlarged our efforts. The three laboratories, we exchange the reagents and then uh, talk about problems, and each of us have a different expertise. For me, the Eureka moment was a rainy night in May 1989 in New Haven, Connecticut, of all places. Lapchi had in his room a fax machine that he had set up, and there was paper that had spilled out on the floor. And as we picked it up and looked at it, it was the latest data showing that, in fact, this deletion of just three letters, CTT, that was missing, from a gene that nobody had previously known much about was so strongly correlated with cystic fibrosis that it had to be the answer. Even though we had the, the most important uh, piece of information, we could not celebrate because we did not have all the evidence, all the support we needed at that time. Jack Reardon, our colleague, looked at the sequence of this gene and said, oh my gosh, this gene codes for a protein that is part of a protein family that I, Jack Reardon, have been studying for the last 20 years. <laughs> and so Jack was able to assemble a pretty good prediction of the molecular model of this protein. I always talk about being in the right place at the right time with the right people. And somehow uh, I could be part of this uh, uh, success story uh, of cloning the, the, the gene for cystic fibrosis. Lab Chi is a scientist's scientist. Working with him over those intense years, I was awed by his ability to command a wide variety of details, organize them in a way that led to the right decision about the next, next experiment. An insightful, creative, scientific visionary brilliant researcher and exceptional mentor and collaborator. Ladies and gentlemen, Canadian Medical Hall of Fame laureate, Dr. Lap Chi Choi.